did extensive measurements on outlet glaciers that are changing and have changed rapidly over the last few years. From the ground, the air, and space, scientists are studying disappearing ice cover in Greenland and Antarctica. Understanding polar ice in our warming climate could help communities prepare for sea level rise, likely to impact millions of people worldwide in the 21st century. They're predicting anywhere between 50 centimeters to two meters. And I think if you think about even a one meter sea level rise, it's going to be a very, very significant issue for populations in low-lying areas. With support from the National Science Foundation, University of Kansas electrical engineer Prasad Goganini directs CRESIS, the Center for Remote Sensing of Ice Sheets. Aircraft-based radars are used for mapping. Most of the areas that are undergoing changes are around the margins of the ice sheets. These areas are extremely rough, so surface-based operations are very dangerous and extremely difficult. What you're seeing is the actual topography of the bedrock mountains, the valleys, the hills, everything that's below the ice. Scientists can get an idea of what's going on and create better models to predict the future. The center also develops observation tools for unmanned aircraft in this test chamber. Better equipped UAVs can mean cheaper, more efficient flights through unforgiving terrain. So it can fly almost 2,000 kilometers and it takes only 1 20th of the fuel of the Twin Otter. Aerospace engineer Richard Hale and his students build and test UAVs. You're taking uh, what predominantly has been military technology and you're applying it to a science problem of global significance. The potential for science contributions of unmanned aircraft is very large. The Kreese's team says that glaciers that have been much the same for 100,000 years are now undergoing dynamic changes. They hope to unlock their secrets so communities around the world can be ready for rising seas. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.